Hey everyone, Ryan here, and for you in today's video, I have some massive updates about LEGO Star Wars sets and minifigures coming in 2024, and all five of the sets we talk about today should be releasing together on March 1st of 2024. There are also sets releasing on January 1st and May 1st, but there are no new updates about those sets, so we're just talking about the March 1st sets today. It was originally rumored that there would be two midi scale sets in 2024, but there's now rumored to be a third, and surprisingly, it's from the prequel trilogy. I'll talk about exactly what that set is in a moment, but first we have some additional info on the existing rumors. The Millennium Falcon midi scale set is returning in 2024, and it is supposed to cost $80 with 921 pieces. But the updated info is that it will include a stand, a nameplate, and a 25th anniversary brick, which confirms LEGO Star Wars is celebrating the 25th anniversary. Of course, we'll talk more about that later with minifigures specifically, but as for some of these builds, we're gonna be getting an extra printed brick, kind of like we got with the 20th anniversary of Clone Wars and 40th anniversary return of the Jedi this year in 2023. I'll also make the bold assumption that the nameplate is the same style as the Executor Super Star Destroyer that we see, but the stand is what's interesting to me, especially with a build like the Millennium Falcon because the original version here from 2009 didn't have a stand. It had really rudimentary landing gear, the same style they would have done 10 years prior in 1999. Like this is really, really basic. And so I think it will be cool to have this on a stand flying around. So it looks like all midi scale sets are going to get a stand unless maybe they do like a midi scale ATAT, -AT, then you're not going to put that on a stand, obviously. But like any of the ships, instead of just simple landing gear, they'll give them a stand, I guess, so that they can look like they're flying. Hopefully it does have like a nice angle to it because if it's just flat, it'll look kind of lame. But the Millennium Falcon with a stand should be interesting. Now the Tantive midi scale is said to come in at $70 with 654 pieces and have the same slate of accessories with a stand, a nameplate, and of course that 25th anniversary brick. So pretty cool. Now, the third midi scale set for 2024 is by far the most exciting to me. The Millennium Falcon's a remake, the Tantive's a Tantive, but when LEGO Star Wars dips into that prequel trilogy, it's always kind of exciting, right? The Invisible Hand is coming as a midi scale set. Kind of out of left field, didn't see it coming. The price is rumored to be $53, so off the bat, we can expect it to be smaller than the other two, of course. I guess it's worth mentioning that this one is said to be 30 centimeters long, while the Tantive is 32 centimeters long, and the Millennium Falcon is 25 centimeters wide. Of course, those have more pieces and are more expensive. So they will be bigger, but the length of the invisible hand will at least be there, it seems. It'll just probably be a skinnier model. And it's said to have 557 pieces, of course, included in which are gonna be the stand, the nameplate, and that 25th anniversary brick again. But there's an extra little detail about this invisible hand that I think is really cool. And that is that you can pull the model in half and inside there's supposed to be a hanger for Jedi Starfighters. But it doesn't say whether or not Jedi Starfighters are included or not. I assume there will be a little yellow and red stud inside to represent Anakin and Obi-Wan starfighters. Fingers crossed that's what they end up doing. It would be pretty neat to see an Easter egg like that on a prequel set. Now, I think there are a couple more unconfirmed sets for 2024, and it would be really neat if one of them was a Venator in midi scale, because while having the invisible hand next to the UCS Venator would be kind of cool, I guess, I think having two in the same scale would be more important here. So a smaller version of the Venator alongside a smaller version of the invisible hand would be incredible. Of course, the invisible hand is all we have rumored right now. The Venator maybe could be a 2025 set, whatever but I think the Venator and Midi scale should be a lock in most people's minds now. If the LEGO Star Wars designers passed up the opportunity to have both sets on the shelf at the same time, I just wouldn't understand it. But then again, I don't understand a lot of things they do. So the Invisible Hand is coming. That is really really exciting. Now there are two other sets coming on March 1st, including the R2-D2 and the Tantive for Hallway. Now there's more information on these specifically, but there's also some information out there saying that we are going to be getting an extra bonus minifigure in each of these sets, akin to what we saw in 2019 with the 20th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars. Now what we saw in 2019, they were recreations of original LEGO Star Wars minifigs from the early 2000s and then given a 20th anniversary print on their back. What I expect with these minifigs is a bit different. These seem to be very much like for the fan minifigures, which is what LEGO Star Wars should be doing, and they're doing it here, so that's a good thing. So with the R2-D2 set, we have a bit more info on R2-D2 himself and the minifigure that's gonna be included here alongside the R2-D2 minifigure. We have the price at $100 with 1,050 pieces, and it's said to have a movable head, third leg, periscope, different tools, and an information plaque like we've seen on a lot of those buildable character sets in the past five to 10 years. The special minifig included with R2-D2 is Darth Malak, and this one's kind 
kind of out of left field. This is something I would have never thought LEGO Star Wars would go and make, but alas, here we are in 2024, and they're doing a very unique and cool character alongside this R2-D2 set. There will be a non-insignificant amount of, like, casual LEGO fans that buy R2-D2 because he's R2-D2 that don't know who Darth Malak is, and I think that's kind of funny. It's also said that Darth Malak will have a special piece where his jaw was, like a, a new mold, obviously, so I think that is a really cool aspect of this figure as well, just making him as good as they can, of course. Just nice to see. So the Darth Malak figure here is going to be fantastic, I think, and a really cool addition to an R2-D2 D2 set that was otherwise kind of boring for a lot of people probably watching this video that might already have the UCS one or just have no interest in a buildable R2-D2, adding in a Darth Malak probably pushes you over the edge to want to go and buy one, right? So Darth Malak, very cool minifigure. Now the Tanta 4 boarding hallway is supposed to be $55 with 502 pieces, and it's got some new info on some of its features. I couldn't find the exact source on this, but I'm pretty sure I read that the Tantive hallway is made to be modular. So kind of like how I bought a bunch of the Dark Trooper hallway sets and combined them together, this one apparently will be intentionally made to do so. So it seems like it will try harder to encourage people to buy multiples of this set to combine together to make one bigger, more epic display. It's said to have some levers that allow you to blast open the doors and topple over the characters that are in the way, which is pretty neat, but the minifigs inside are Darth Vader, two stormtroopers, and two rebel fleet troopers, and there is a sixth minifigure with fives. Lego is making a fives minifigure. This is fantastic, except the obvious, you know, elephant in the room. It might not be so fantastic if it's a phase two fives. I'm really hoping it's a phase one fives because then they can use the arc trooper helmet that they've only ever used once in 2012 to make the perfect looking fives. Otherwise, we're going to have the fandom split in half again. So I do really hope it ends up being a phase one fives with that 2012 arc trooper helmet design. The existence of fives in and of himself, I think, is really exciting to a lot of people. And again, uh, I think this set would be a lot less boring than the R2D2 didn't really need a figure to put you over the edge to want to go out and buy, but the fives will definitely get a lot of Clone Wars fans interested. And again, it's another set like R2D2 where I think a lot of like casual fans will be buying this and like they'll know Clone Trooper, but they won't know Clone Trooper fives, but like who cares? We get a cool minifigure. So fives is going to be a great inclusion within this set. And there was also a rumor that Darth Revan would be making his way into one of these sets, but as of now, unless he's in one of the May 1st sets, or maybe there's another set coming out on March 1st that we just don't know about yet, I don't see where Darth Revan is going to fit in. The bigger thing here is Darth Revan may have been confused with Darth Malak by one of the leakers, and that's where the Darth Revan thing came from. You know, I'm just kind of trying to reason through how Darth Revan's name got thrown into the conversations, and it seems like it could have been some confusion. At this point, it's just kind of a wait and see. I know a lot of people are really excited about the prospect of Darth Revan returning when the rumor dropped, but but the rumor might not have been right. Generally, my take on things like that are like, Darth Malak has never existed in LEGO Star Wars. Darth Revan has. I would rather them make Darth Malak than Darth Revan, even though Darth Revan's like a very expensive figure, you know what I mean? So I hope Darth Revan is in another set anyway, but if I had to pick one over the other, I'd pick Darth Malak because LEGO has literally never made them. Same with like fives being in the set instead of like a cheaper version of Captain Rex. LEGO's never made fives. Hopefully they make them good. And you know, then having fives is better than not having fives. Lastly, on the topic of these 25th anniversary minifigures, on the 20th anniversary minifigures, of course, they printed that 20th anniversary 1989 to 2019 on the back of the figures. But with these 25th anniversary figures, I do not expect it to be the same. I do not expect them to print anything extra on the back like that. I expect it to be like the full figure detailed like it would be if it came in a set with like the proper build for the figure, right? It shouldn't be a figure with any marking on it. This is just my speculation. And the reasoning for that is that these aren't remakes of the original figures of themselves. Like they aren't the yellow characters from 1999 that Lego has remade one-to-one, -one, but they still want to denote that it's the special one. So they put the little mark on the back. They're the special one because they're the, the only one ever, and it's kind of like a fan's minifigure with Darth Malak and, and Fives, clearly. Like, just some cool figures that we've never gotten. And that's, I, like, I mean, I've been talking about this for a long time, I feel like. Lego Star Wars should be doing that type of stuff, and here we are. So that's, a, I think, a really good thing. Hopefully the quality is there with the figures. Like, the idea is there, and that's great, but if the quality's not there, it'll still be disappointing. So we will have to wait and see as far as that's concerned. The Darth Malak with the, you know, special piece definitely sounds promising, so I, I'm very excited about him. Maybe they'll come with some little 
stand that says 25th anniversary, that's not said in any of these rumors or leaks at this point, so we really don't know. I would kind of hope they would. I think that would be kind of neat. Maybe even a CMF stand with a little print on it would be kind of ideal. You know, really simple, one piece, one little print. Don't have to go overboard like they did with those 20th anniversary figures. So that's definitely a wait and see type of thing. You know, the rumors don't say it's coming with anything, so I wouldn't expect anything but I think it is definitely a possibility that they include a little stand with something denoting that it's a 25th anniversary minifigure. So that is it for these massive LEGO Star Wars March 2024 updates. Let me know what you are now most excited for in the comments section below. And it's also really exciting that I think a Venator midi scale set is a lock, be it in 2024 or 2025. I think that's what these rumors also kind of tell us if we're reading between the lines. So let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe so you don't miss my reviews when I eventually get these sets in hand. See ya.